welcome to my Halloween series. Today is day 31, the final day, and on day 31 I am doing a Harlequin inspired set. So I've already put Freedom Liquid on my nails, formed my nails, and I'm ready to get started. I'm going to use red acrylic, blue acrylic, this is Jennifer by Glam and Glitz. I'm going to use Nutty Nude by Glam and Glitz as well, and clear acrylic. I'm also going to incorporate these glitters and they're like diamond holographic glitters. This one is a red, much smaller than the blue one, but still diamond and holographic. Okay, so on the pinky I want to do it entirely blue and use some of that gorgeous glitter in it as well. So I'm going to... <coughs> Pick up a bead of, what do we say it's called? So I'm going to pick up a bead of Jennifer and place it on the nail and start working it. I'm going to pat it nice and close to the cuticle and then I'm going to bring it down the length of the nail, of the form I should say. It's finally firmed up enough that I can add some glitter to it. So I'm going to pick up a bead of clear acrylic and then dip it into this gorgeous blue diamond holographic glitter and press it into the nail where I want it. So I want a diagonal glitter feature on the tip and then a little bit more, a little bit more at the cuticle. Okay, so now that needs to firm up before I encapsulate it. So I'll move on to the next nail and get working on that one. This one's going to be a reverse French and I'm using Nutty Nude. By now we all know how slow at setting Nutty Nude is. So I need to work super dry with it. I'm not used to working dry with acrylic beads. But for this one you have to, otherwise you're chasing it all over the form. Okay, I place it on the stress point of the nail and I start patting it side to side. And then trying to form the smile line, just using my brush. I haven't re-dipped my brush into the monomer because if I do that and then go to pat it, it's going to absorb the monomer from my brush and make it super runny and start melting like ice does. It's not really melting but it looks like it's it's splaying all over the form and I really don't want that right now. You can still see as dry as I worked with it it's still extremely pliable at this point. Okay so that's hardened up and that's hardened up enough where I can place the cuticle bead and I'm going to place the cuticle bead close to the cuticle and pat it into place and then brush it down the length of the, the nail bed which I've created. Alright, now I want to do a vertical ombre for the free edge of this nail. So I'm going to use this blue and put it here on the right side of the nail and press it up into the wing. Make sure I get a nice point there. And then bring it down to, what am I doing, XL. Then I'm going to do some red acrylic on the other half. So pick up a bead of red, place it on the form and tuck it up into that wing before I pat it down the length of the nail. To that I also want to add some glitter. So I'm picking up a clear bead and dipping it into my blue diamond glitter and placing it on the nail. And the same applies to the other side. Another bead of clear acrylic dipped into my red diamond glitter and placed onto the red part of the nail. So the two colours are interlocking down the centre to create sort of a glitter ombre. 
now that needs to dry and I will encapsulate it. Now on this nail, this nail, this nail is going to be really challenging because I want to do diamonds in a not polish method. So let's see how we go with that one. I'm going to swap over to my 3D brush so I'll pick up smaller beads. Dip it into my blue powder. And placing it on the nail. Now I'm going to form like a diamond shape out of it. So I think I need a lot of patience for this part because my room is freezing cold as you can see by the 10 jumpers I'm wearing and the acrylic is taking longer to set up as well. To it I think I do want to add some of the glitter as well. Let's try and see if it works. diamond within a diamond. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, time for the next blue diamond. While the acrylic is still wet, I'm going to press in some diamonds. So I just need one more diamond in the sequence. Again, adding some blue diamonds to it. I want to add red diamonds here and then encapsulate it in clear. So pick up a bead of red acrylic, place it next to the blue. I'm also going to add red diamonds to this and then I think I will finish off the top with half a blue diamond. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the nail by sculpting it out of clear acrylic. So I'm picking up a bead of clear, bleeding it out of the back of my brush, and then placing it, oops, and then placing it onto the stress point of my nail. I'm patting and pressing the acrylic down the length of the nail making sure to encapsulate all that glitter while also extending the free edge. Now I want to emphasize the little diamond on the end so I'm going to make this like a pointy tip. Now I'm going to encapsulate the cuticle part to seal in all those glitters. This one is going to be entirely red, basically like the blue one but red. So I'm going to pick up a bead of red acrylic, place it close to the cuticle, get it nice and neat near the cuticle and then work that acrylic down the form to match the length of the other nails. Into this I want to press some red glitter and I'm basically going to do it in the reverse fashion of the pinky filed it so I'm going to encapsulate this now even though it hasn't dried completely so a nice big bead of clear at the cuticle and working it down the nail. 
making sure to encapsulate all that gorgeous red glitter. The thumbnail I want to make white. So I've picked up a generous white bead of acrylic and placed it at the stress point of the nail. And then I'm working it down the length of the form, trying to keep it from, Jesus, trying to keep it from sliding off. Jeepers creepers, I've got a dry bead. Now I'm going to complete the cuticle part of this nail. So I've picked up a medium sized bead, um, feathering it down over the entire length of this nail. I want to add some red diamonds on the cuticle part and blue diamonds on the tip part. Now that's going to get encapsulated as well. So a nice, a generous bead of clear at the cuticle, patting it into place and then feathering it down the nail. Now I'm going to let these dry completely, finish file them off camera and I'll see you here when I'm done. Okay, that's my finish filing done. I'm just using some isopropyl alcohol to clean up around my cuticle and remove any dust from the nail as well. On the thumbnail, I want to write the word puddin. Pudding, pudding, pudding. You know what I mean. She used to call her partner pudding. It doesn't sound right when I say it. <laughs> so I'm going to use black and white acrylic. Uh, sorry, black and white gel polish. And my three millimetre Mitty brush. P-U-D-D-I-N. P-U-D-D-I-N. Six. P-U-D-D. So D D. The double D is the middle of the word, so the nail in the center is here, so I'll put a D on either side. Okay, I'm going to cure that in my light for a little bit. I'm going to go over it one more time to make the white pop. And cure that again. Probably cure it for 30 seconds and then I can add black highlights or low lights or shadows to it to make those letters pop. Pudding, pudding. <laughs> Curing that for a minute, and then it's time for my no wipe top coat, and I'll be top coating all the nails. Do I put bling? Yes, I do. I'm going to secure that with a bit of glue on my ring finger. And then the rest of them I'm just going to secure with some no wipe top coat. I'm just going to secure with some no wipe top coat. I'm going to top coat the rest of the nails as well. This one that has a clear acrylic tip, I'm going to top coat underneath the free edge as well to make it more clear. So 
So I've added no wipe top coat. I'm curing them for the final time in this Halloween series and these nails will be ready for reveal soon. And for the final time in this series, here is my completed set. What do you think of it? Be sure to let me know down below in the comments. If you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss any videos I upload in future. And that's all I have for you today, my lovelies. I really do hope you enjoyed my 31 Days of Halloween Nail Art series because I definitely enjoyed putting it together for you guys. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the whole series and um, if you'll be going trick-or-treating tonight. I am expecting a lot of children to come by today, so I better head off and get ready and say goodbye to you. Thank you very much for watching my series. I really do appreciate it. All the likes, all the comments, all the new subscribers, welcome. Stick around because I've got lots of videos coming your way. And I guess that's it. And for the final time, I am signing off for this Halloween series. But in the meantime, if you want to watch something else, YouTube reckons you're going to enjoy this video next. Well, I reckon you might enjoy this one. Which one will you choose? I'll see you whenever the next time is. Bye!